Well, good afternoon. We had a sunny day today. We got done packing insects, so I thought it would be really fun to explain and demonstrate something that I've been trying to explain to people um, on the phone and with notes. And it's just a great idea. For about six years, I was just telling Jessica I've been trying to figure out how we can uh, get uh, Delosha or Athena beetle, the little rose beetles, into a situation where they can grow well in a greenhouse that's got otherwise like a, somewhat of a sterile floor or a hydroponic situation where there's really no soil and you may have crops turning quickly, whether that's hydroponic lettuce or in a propagation system that's really formal. So uh, it was great. Somebody just put, nailed, the, nailed it on the head last week down in Watsonville, California. I saw what I'd been thinking about, but finally with a lid on it and literally with a lid on it. So we've taken the little Delosha beetle, and um, I'll show you what I'm doing with it in the container. But we've got to feed out, figure out how to feed these little guys. And so I know that just from understanding what people do in insectaries, um, that something like dog food, a high protein source, or koi food, pond fish food, can be used uh, for a nice high protein source. So, oh, I thought this was gonna maybe work a little better. I think what I'm gonna do is put this in a food grinder uh, in a coffee grinder and try to get a nice um, a nice crushed um, granule of the dog food but for now since that's not really working in the motor intestinal I'm going to show you basically what we're doing so we're shipping bugs all the time often using these styrofoam boxes this is actually a pretty good dimension this has got about a one foot opening by about eight inches and that would be enough for even just 500 of these little delosia beetles we put some nice moist uh, organic uh, potting soil in here and you can just pretend that we just added a little bit of that dog food maybe about a quarter cup and then we've got this little delosia beetle which is just a tiny little eighth inch um, beetle and we're going to go ahead and scatter these guys in here pretty carefully because there's larvae and adults so they're already hopping around and we'll try to get a close-up shot of that to show you so we've got a little bit of food mixed in here with the potting soil, <laughs> jumping all over. So we're gonna put the lid on this and we're gonna make sure that we've got some nice holes punched in the end of both ends so that we have a nice inch and a half to two inch opening. Now this is gonna go in a fairly moist, probably 50% moisture kind of conditions underneath the greenhouse benches. And over the course of three, four weeks, these guys are going to start propagating in here. So every week you're going to want to add about a quarter cup of the food and that should keep them busy. Periodically check for moisture content. Make sure that these, these guys are not drying out and have fun. And you're going to get used to looking for what the little larvae look like. And it's going to be a wonderful way to augment your generalist biocontrol for thrips protection. So these are amazing thrips predators. They will take short little hoppy flights they look like little scorpions. They'll jump about 10 feet at the most, bing, bing, bing. So they will actually climb up, climb up in a canopy. So if you've got uh, cucumbers like in a tall vining situation or tomatoes, and you've got problems with western flower thrips way up in the, in the flowers, you'll be pleasantly surprised to see these guys all the way up feeding on pollen as another food resource. So they're wonderful generalist predators, and this is a great way to augment and stretch your biocontrol dollars. So. Thanks for listening.